Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make bubble waffles, or egg waffles, or eggettes. These are really, really popular in Hong Kong. I read a study that said bubble waffles were the number one street food over in Hong Kong. Pretty awesome. They're also popular in places like Thailand as well. And it's just a re neat little play on a traditional waffle. And uh, in order to make one, you do need a bubble waffle maker. There's a variety out there. The one I'm using is by Master Chef. It looks similar to a waffle iron on the outside. And uh, they sent this to me and uh, asked me to play around with it and see what I thought about it. So thank you, Master Chef, for sending that over to me. So I will show you how to use it and a simple bubble waffle recipe. It's very simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, I'll list the ingredients and their amounts. So in a small bowl, let's start with our two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's mix those, whisk those together. Excellent. And I'll add in one third cup of milk. And if you are lactose intolerant, you can use almond milk or just use water. And then in a medium bowl, I'm gonna take a sifter. I'm just gonna put in one cup of cake flour. You can use all-purpose flour if you like. Cake flour gives it a nice texture. One teaspoon of baking powder. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And we will just sift that in there. And this will ensure that we don't have any kind of lumps in our batter. No one likes a lumpy batter. Fantastic. Take my sugar. This is one half cup of white granulated sugar. Whisk this all together. Pour in that egg mixture. Whisk this together. Careful not to get flour all over the place. And then I'm gonna take about um, yeah, a couple of teaspoons of butter and just melt this in the microwave. Pour the melted butter in there. Give it a good whisk. And then I do list, down below I list a tablespoon of water and you could add that to thin it up a little bit as needed. And now I just have a, a sheet pan here. I'm just gonna place my bubble waffle maker on top, and this is just gonna catch any drippings. Turn it around. Uh, despite how careful you are, you know, you're bound to have a leakage that comes out the sides. And I will open it up so you can see what it looks like. Pretty neat, right? It just has these little egg-shaped cavities. What we'll do is we'll give this a good spray with some kitchen spray. Both sides, top and bottom. We'll plug it in and let it heat up. And this particular one by MasterChef, it has a little green light that tells you when it's hot or ready to use. So I just let it heat up for like three to four minutes. There's a variety of bubble waffle makers out there. Some that you actually put on your stove top and then you cook it that way. All right, the green indicator light turned on. You probably can't see it there in um, camera. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here and I use a two third cup a measuring cup and we want to come in here and fill it up. I start in the middle and then work my way out and then we will close this and you'll just flip it over just like that and then you let it cook for a minute 30 on each side and in the meantime we'll get a wire, wire rack ready I'm gonna put that over here. All right, after your minute 30 is up, then you want to fold this, turn this over again and let it cook for another minute 30. So for a total of about three minutes or until nice and golden brown. All right, time is up. I'll go ahead and take a look. Whoa, yeah, that looks uh, beautiful. And what we'll do, and sometimes when it's too thin, um, it'll be thin on the edges here. It, it might fall apart on you, and that's okay um, because then you'll have these, you'll have all the little ones to eat. Ooh. Ah! 
So you want to use a fork to try to get them off, off of there. See the little egg shape? See that cute little egg shaped waffle? You don't need to spray it again in between. Put some in the middle. Okay, that might be a little too much. But we'll give it a go. Put it down. Flip it over. All right, time is up. We'll take a peek. Looks fantastic. And then what you can do is grab a fork and like a wooden spatula or something and kind of go underneath it to help it come up. And peel it right off. And then when you're done, you'll put them on a wire rack to cool. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna crisp up on the rack as they cool. Um, but don't worry if it falls apart. In fact, my favorite way to eat these is when, when they are apart and in the little egg shapes. And then I just put them in a bowl and they can, they are ready to serve that way and people can just scoop out as many as they wanna eat and put on their own toppings. Make sure your hands are clean if you're gonna be handling these or tear them apart with a fork or something. Pretty awesome. And then one of my favorite ways to eat them is just like a classic waffle. Drizzle some maple syrup on there and come in here with some powdered sugar. Yummy. All right, the bubble waffles are done. Turned out fantastic. A quick reminder, if they do fall apart, don't worry. That's actually my favorite way to eat them is when they're all apart like this. And you can put them in like little cups or have them in a big bowl and people can just scoop out what they want. Or just have it in one piece. You can fold it and put it in like a bowl or like a glass and then put like ice cream in there, whipped cream, whatever you want to do, totally up to you. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Down below, I'll put a link where you can pick up that MasterChef Bubble Waffle Maker. It is an affiliate link, so I will get a small percentage of the sale, but it won't cost you any extra. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah, oh.